Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the weekly review show. Hey mate, the price of gold's 20 bucks an ounce. <coughs> 20 bucks an ounce? What? Hello everybody and welcome back. For those of you who are new to this series, this is the time where I sit down at the end of every week and just have a look at my investments during the week and how they've been doing and some possible other options for buying with my drink. Alright, so we're going to head into the first part of today's video. As per usual, we're going to be taking a good look at um, precious metals because those are a very steady way to preserve your wealth and um, at the moment silver is viewed as a little bit of an investment. Um, for more information about whether gold and silver well, silver is a good investment or if it even is an investment, check out the video right there. Okay, so I'm going to head over to my trusty app that tells me everything I need to know about it, AGD Precious Metals. That's the app for this. Um, alrighty, so silver, 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 silver. Okay, so as, um, as you might have seen if you watched last week's video up there, there, um, we did see silver, you know, a little sad. Um, where were we? We were sitting at about, what are we, $25 an ounce. This is in Australian dollars. Um, and we sat there for quite a while, you know, maybe five days with very, very minimal movement. But we, we've started to come up a bit, um, nearly at $26 an ounce at the moment, um, which is great to see. Um, about $25.50 to $26, um, again, filming on the 13th of June 2020. Um, but silver, not too bad. Um, I was glad to see a bit of recovery on, um, on the stats there. So that was pretty good. Now the one that got me happy and thinking was the price of gold. Um, so we'll head on to that right now. Alrighty, so gold. Um, last week we saw it sitting at a measly $2,400 an ounce, um, which I'll be honest with you, not the greatest. We almost hit the high a couple of weeks ago, maybe a month now, um, of $2,800. But um, we were sitting at the $2,400 mark for quite a bit, um, to be honest with you. We can see that over the last month we had a very big spike up near the 15th and continued to go right down until you can see down all the way here we had um, gold sitting at $2,400 an ounce. Um, and it sat there just like silver did um, quite calmly I guess you could say for nearly five days and um, then we've started to see it pick up again which was really good to see. Um, I, I woke up in the morning and I checked the stock market and I checked the precious metals market and I was very happy to see that gold had make it, made its way back up to 2500 uh, 2500 uh, yeah, 2500 2550 even today um, but making a good recovery, glad to see that gold's a bit up again um, I was planning on buying a little bit more gold when it was down at that 2400 mark um, but I will wait for it to go back down again so that we can see uh, whereabouts it's sitting at. Um, in terms of gold to silver ratio, which is essentially addressing how many ounces it takes um, of silver to buy an ounce of gold, um, pretty much at a uh, slap bang 100, um, which means you would need 100 ounces of silver to buy an ounce of gold. Um, looking pretty good, the, the GSR, which is the gold to silver ratio, uh, looking pretty low over the last couple of weeks or so going from near 120 down to 100 so if you're thinking of getting into gold or silver it's a good time to be getting in in my opinion um, given that gold is down at the 2500 mark um, rather than up high as we've seen it for the for the last you know couple of months or so um, I would recommend getting some precious metals they are a really good way to preserve your wealth if you're an adult watching this um, you've obviously got your super fund to worry about, uh, not worry about, you've got the channel here. Um, but yeah, I would recommend investing and buying some precious metals because they are a good way to store your wealth. Um, as I've mentioned in previous videos, I view them as a way to preserve your wealth with some added bonuses. Um, given that silver is very undervalued at the moment, um, given that we've seen its all-time high at nearly 75 Australian dollars an ounce, 
and give it its, uh, a, a fractional third of that price at the moment. Um, there's obviously potential for silver. Um, that's partially why I'm in it, because if we look at the 10-year mark, you can see where it spiked in 2011. Um, so it has that potential there to spike. Um, we will be addressing that in other videos, obviously. But um, I reckon we'll move on to the next segment now. But first, let us take some time to discuss the sponsor for today's video. That's right, today's video is sponsored by Investing for Kids. Now, Investing for Kids is an excellent YouTube channel that I would de definitely recommend to all of you guys. Um, it's essentially a channel where this young kid of about 13 years of age, I know, right, will sit down and he will discuss all different types of investing. That's right, precious metals, you know, the stock market, properties even. I think he's saying he's going to have some of those soon. Um, but it's definitely a channel I'd recommend to you guys. Um, it's my channel. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're watching the video right now. Um, but no, seriously guys, I'd recommend sticking around because my whole goal of this channel is to help you guys. Um, I hope that I'm helping adults as well as kids because my primary, primary, primary goal is to help anybody in need and to encourage kids my age uh, to invest and to believe that there is hope out there and that there is ways to learn. Um, I'm here to help, I'm here to learn, I'm here to teach, I'm here to do all that good stuff. So if you guys wanna see some more awesome videos about all different types of investing, make sure to subscribe and stick around for future videos. Okay, let's head on to the next segment. <coughs> Sorry. Got to enjoy the drink before it all melts. Um, all right, so let's head into the next bit here where we're going to be having a look at, you guessed it, the stock market. Um, so there are some other things that I have my eyes on. Um, I have mentioned them in previous videos. Um, you'll have to check those out uh, to see them. But we're going to be having a look at some, um, some possible investments. Ooh, yes, that's interesting. We've got something to talk about. Um, so one of the shares that I have my eye on at the moment is IVV um, S&P 500. Um, so IVV is obviously the symbol for this if you're looking on the uh, stock exchange. Um, so it's an ETF essentially, um, which is where you buy shares with this company and they will go out and uh, invest it for you essentially. Um, so this will invest in the top 500 companies of America, yada yada yada. Talked about it before, if you guys want to hear more about it, check out the other weekly reviews. I will of course be making a full um, detailed video about the stock market, several of them, because that's why I'm here. Um, at the moment I have been making quite a few precious metals videos due to the fact that firstly I am getting into them now, so there's a lot of stuff that I want to share with you guys, and also because it is a less common market. A lot more people would be invested in the stock market and in the share market. So my goal is to have some resources up there for people that are investing in something new. I want to encourage precious metals. So that's why I'm making a lot of those sort of videos. But let's have a look at IVV at the moment. Um, so over the last week, we have seen IVV drop. Um, we're looking in the red figures. Um, if we look back to a week ago uh, when we last reviewed we were looking at around 322 US dollars and uh, a share. Um, so obviously you guys can go and convert that to Aussie dollars if you want. Um, but I'm going to use the US dollars just because it's how it's represented in the app. Um, so then we saw it steady uh, at that amount. We saw it rise up a little bit to 24, go back down to 320, uh, go down a little bit to about 319 back up to the 324 and then about uh, three days after discussed on the video we started to see a decline. We went all the way from uh, 322 down to 312 within the space of um, overnight. Um, so it's a significant drop for this share and then down from the 312 to uh, 301 to be honest. Uh, so down quite a bit there, um, back up to near 310 and then a steady rock down. Um, so obviously not being great for S&P 500 here, um, given everything going on in the US at the moment, uh, there is a lot to deal with obviously, um, and given um, the current measures and things going on in the world, 
a lot less people may be doing things like this, but I do need to educate myself as to why these sort of things fluctuate. Um, but we've seen it drop, so that's something to take note of. Over the last day, we've seen green figures starting off at around... Whoa! Dramatic changes over the last day. Started off at 310 this morning. And over the day, we've gone all the way down to... Oh goodness, 300. Back up a bit to 3 or 5, as mentioned before. Um, so, that's quite a, a chart for this one day alone. Um, again, recording on the 13th. Back over the last month, they've recovered well from the big stock market drop um, in March. Last three months, you can see the drop, they've recovered well. Uh, you can see even over the last six months, uh, we will be in red figures because of the massive drop. But a uh, good recovery there, as you can see. Um, so I would, I would definitely keep my eye on this if I were you. Um, it has very good growth. You can expect high return rates on this. Um, when I was invested in this, I was getting something around 8-10% to 10 return on investment a year, um, which is fairly decent, to be honest. Um, but let's take a look at some of the other common share prices. Um, so we've got Dow Jones, which is a industrial average here. Um, over the last week, um, I'm not actually sure what Dow Jones is. I know, I think a lot of you would be scoffing that I don't know what Dow Jones is, but um, that's a very expensive share price. Um, so Dow Jones is currently at uh, $25,605, 25605 uh, US dollars a share. Uh, this may be a very big share option, um, but looking red over the last week, uh, green over the last day, uh, red and green refers to negative and positive growth, but uh, we should move this video on because I'm sort of um, taking my time, I guess. Um, so now we're going to have a little look at a gold ETF. This is a mining ETF um, that I mentioned in the previous video there. I'm just going to plug it up so you guys can check it out. Um, and that is GDX. Uh, that's the symbol. It's a Vanek Vectors Gold Miner ETF. Over the last week, um, we've seen it go pretty well, to be honest. Uh, when we were recording, it was $32 a share. Uh, gentle rise up until $34. Again, small share prices, small growth um, in, in number figures. But when you look at the percentage, if you're going from 30 to 33, that's 10% increase, um, which is very, very good over that amount of time. If you look at the S&P, however, um, you know, they've gone from, what, 30, 320 to 330, all the way down to 300, which is a 10% minus, um, which is big for those big shares. Um, so they're down in the last day by 0.19%, um, very fractional uh, loss there. But again, uh, sticking within the 33, $32 range, over the last week. Um, so I'll keep my eye out on this. This is again one of those sort of share prices that tends to be quite, um, I guess you could say shaky. Um, it's quite undervalued at the moment. It's high have being, it's it's high at $65 a share. Um, so still considering that, having a look at it, that's GDX for those of you who are interested. Um, there is one thing I did forget to do, which is just very briefly mention the price of Platinum and Palladium on the Precious Metals Mark. For those of you who are interested, um, I do want to get my hands on some Platinum. I will be um, transparent about that. Um, just not sure where exactly to get a hold of it at the moment. So if any of you guys are a part of the Silver Stackers Forum or anything like that, which I will link in the description, um, let me know in the comments if you have any um, recommendations or places that I can buy some platinum in Australia, um, hopefully local or online near me, um, because I do want to get a little bit of platinum because it is quite undervalued at the moment. So um, again, this is one of the fluctuating uh, precious metals. Um, I like gold over the past, uh, you could say, month because it's been up and down a bit. Uh, Silver is quite shaky generally. Um, not having a trend, uh, but gold over the last 20, 30, 40 years has been uh, quite up and down, uh, but generally trends upwards. Uh, platinum sitting at $1,176 bid, 
um, in Australian, Palladium $2,724 of uh, time of filming. Um, I think that that's it for today's video. Um, so we'll hit to the outro and I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Alright, so I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Um, I know it was a bit of a mouthful as per usual, but for those of you who are still watching, I genuinely really appreciate it. Um, I hope that this has somehow helped. Um, I think it's good that you're watching to have an understanding and a contextual knowledge of all the different stuff going on in the world. Um, so if you are still watching, then you're a legend. I really appreciate your support. Um, I hope that you stick around as I continue to grow this channel and to help to learn and to teach. Um, uh, that's all for today's video. I hope you guys will check out some of the previous ones, uh, stick around for the future ones, and until next time, goodbye.